Hello and welcome to Word of Hope for Thursday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. I am Father Jamil Samalot Rivera, a friar of the province of San Albert de Great, stationed in Puerto Rico. As we approach the end of the liturgical year, the Word of God that we contemplate in the liturgy also brings us face to face with the culmination of our Christian life the coming of the kingdom of heaven. The disturbing question that the Pharisees ask Jesus is surely one that we as believers ask ourselves, especially in times like the ones we are living in. When will the kingdom of God come? The master's answer will be the same for us as it was for the Pharisees before. The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. The kingdom of God is among you. Without denying that the end will come after the Son of Man suffers greatly and is rejected by this generation, Jesus calls our attention to the present, to today, to the here in which we live our faith. While it is true that we have been saved precisely by that painful surrender of the Son of Man, that salvation must be lived among us so that it can also be lived for eternal life. The end of my life in Christ The master himself tells us, as he did to the Pharisees, is experienced today in every decision I make, in every action I carry out in my job, my family, my community. There the kingdom of God is forged. There Jesus arrives to fulfill in his promise that he would be with us every day until the end of the world, just as he would be there were two or more agreed to call upon him. The kingdom of God is the same Jesus of Nazareth, and he will be among us yesterday, today, and always. Some words in Spanish. Ahora que nos acercamos al final del tiempo litúrgico, también la escritura nos acerca al final de nuestra vida cristiana, la llegada del reino. Pero Jesús dice que el reino está aquí, Ahora, no tenemos que mirar al futuro, tenemos que mirar a cómo vivimos la salvación de Dios en este momento presente. May God bless you.